This year marks a decade since the Croxteth Young Guns were tried in court. Violence was their trade as the gang wreaked havoc on local communities before being taken down by police. The gang were considered so notorious that a senior judge referred to them as quote a separate outlawed tribe that rejected all of society's moral standards. Members of the gang were not flush with dirty money, nor did they run a sophisticated drug trafficking operation. Instead, the Croxteth based gang seemed to focus solely on violently attacking their rivals, in particular the Norris Green Strand Gang. The Young Guns were not the first violent street gang operating in Croxteth. In 2007, their predecessors, the Croxteth Crew, were responsible for one of the most devastating crimes in the history of the city, the shooting of 11-year-old Rhys Jones by Sean Mercer, himself only 16. After Mercer and many of his associates were swept up by police, the Croxteth Young Guns formed and stepped into the void. Senior members Anthony Jewell, Mark Thomas and Barry Burke began operating across a patch stretching to the borders of Azakli and Kirby. The street gang seemed to have one overriding goal, to continue the violent feuds with the Strand Gang that had boiled over in 2007. The violence added to miserable firearm statistics in Merseyside. According to a community impact statement provided by police, between October 2010 and March 2013, there were 266 firearms discharges in Liverpool and 319 offences of arson with intent to endanger life. By the end of 2011, Merseyside police were intent on bringing the violence to an end. A major operation began to piece together incidents linked to the group and the main players were arrested. Jewel and fellow soldiers Thomas, Burke, Ryan Holden, Sam Hughes and Kyle Smith-Milson were rounded up and charged with a raft of offences on an indictment that covered six shootings as well as two further incidents when guns failed to fire and at least four firebomb attacks. They went to trial in 2013 with the trial judge Mr Justice Peter Openshaw saying his impression of the young but extraordinarily violent criminals was that their drug dealing was just a sideshow to fund their principal activity of feuding with rivals. He described them enforcing a strict code of silence which they ruthlessly enforced by the use of guns and firebombs often brought to the scene by unregistered scrambler bikes. Among the offences the Croxteth Young Guns were convicted of orchestrating was the punishment kneecapping of former member Josh Keating and Marine Walk on March 13th, 2011. Mr Keating was shot by bullets from a gun linked to the defendants and which was also used to shoot at members of the Strand Gang. Other shootings followed an attack on Gangley the Duel in HMP Liverpool where he was on remand at the time. Jewel had his jaw fractured by Strand Gang member Kevin McMullen, which led to reprisals on the streets. On one occasion, shots were fired at Strand members in the street, leading to bullets crashing into the homes of innocent residents, before a shotgun was fired at through the window of a house where McMullen's parents lived, Natalie missing his mum. Two other incidents involved bungled execution attempts on men who had decided to leave the crocs with young guns. On both occasions, they had guns held to their heads by men who pulled the trigger, but they were spared when the weapons malfunctioned and failed to fire. A jury also heard how the gang targeted the homes of rivals using Lucasay bottles filled with accelerant and a lighted rag. One attack in Alma Road at 2am on November 4, 2011 took place on the home of an innocent woman and their baby girl who were simply renting a house linked to a rival. She was forced to smash a bedroom window and escape via a sloping roof before passing her baby down to neighbours. The trial did hear the gang were themselves the victims of violent attacks, including the attack on Jewel in prison. On another occasion, intruders burst into a house in Stonedale Crescent where Burke lived with Thomas. The pair were so terrified that they jumped from their upstairs bedroom. Thomas landed awkwardly and broke his neck. At the end of a week's long trial, Jewel, then 23, who denied arson, firearm conspiracies and conspiracy to supply Class A drugs, was jailed for 20 years plus 5 on licence. Thomas, then 19, 
was detained for 16 years with four years extended on license for the same conspiracy charges. Holden, then 20, was sentenced to 13 years detention with three years extended on license for the same four counts. Burke, then 19, was detained for 12 years with four years extended on license for conspiracy to possess firearms, conspiracy to commit arson and conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. Smith Milson, then 19, was detained for 12 years with three years extended on license for conspiracy to possess firearms and to commit arson. Hughes, then 20, was detained for 12 years with three years extended on license for conspiracy charges relating to firearms, arson and supplying Class B drugs.